Springs, Mississippi is a happy town on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. What you may not know is that this town was the first European settlement in Mississippi. The story of how this town came to be starts with a man who goes by the name Pierre Lemoyne Sierre d'Iberville. D'Iberville was born on July 20, 1662, in the great city of Montreal. He was the son of a fur trader named Charles Lemoyne. D'Iberville spent most of his youth on the Hudson Bay. There, he would participate in raids against English trading posts. The King of France, Louis XIV, decided that he wanted to establish a colony on the mouth of the Mississippi River. The king put D'Iberville in command of this historic endeavor. Starting January 1699, D'Iberville set sail. He explored the northern coast of the Gulf of Mexico. There, he rediscovered the mouth of the Mississippi. While exploring along the coast, he ran into a prosperous land now known as Pensacola. The Spanish already claimed this area, so avoiding conflict, he continued westward, exploring the Mobile Bay and the Mississippi Sound. After having traveled for a while, he finally stopped and anchored off a harbor in Ship Island. The Iberville and his men took a three-day journey by canoe to the mainland. When he reached the mainland, he made friends with the local tribes by offering them foods and gifts. He heard from a local tribe called the Biloxi Indians of a river. D'Iberville, hoping they were talking about the Mississippi River, decided to risk everything and go find it. He didn't learn till later on that his hopes were actually correct. D'Iberville traveled up the Great Mississippi River past Baton Rouge with his brother. He received a letter from the Tonti to La Salle, written in 1686. This letter confirmed that he had sailed on the Mississippi River. D'Iberville sailed back down the Mississippi River to Biloxi Bay. He started the construction of a new settlement called Fort Maripaz. This little colony that he founded happened to be the first permanent settlement in Mississippi. When the fort was completed, D'Iberville left for France, leaving his brother in command. At that time, D'Iberville had no idea how huge of a success his settlement would end up being. This settlement is now known as Ocean Springs.